In this video you will learn where and how to find and hunt the legendary moose. Also, I will show you how much you can earn thanks to this animal pelt and what special equipment you can acquire thanks to the crafting components of this animal. But before you will be able to hunt any legendary animal, you must do any of the first mission in Chapter 2 that will make appear Hosea in the camp. Then you need to do the Hosea mission as well that will unlock the legendary animals. At this point, it's time to speak about the legendary moose rewards. Back to the topic, first by first the legendary moose belt can be sold to any dropper vendor and you will gain $35 for this. While the main reward for hunting this moose is the trinket you can craft from any fence vendor called Moose Antler Trinket that will cost you only $19. Anyway, this item is really, really powerful because it will rise by 10% the experience that you will gain from health statistic. Means that is particularly useful if you want to max out your health in the early of the game. In fact, to maximize the utility of this trinket, after you acquire it, I suggest you to check the video about the location of all ginseng elixir that you will find in the description. This, because drinking one of this potion, you will receive permanently one quarter of the health level. While with the trinket you will gain some extra, and considering that you can find a limited amount of this special item, it's better to gain the trinket before you start using them. Another reward you can gain is some parts of the special outfit set that you can buy from the dropper. For the moose, you can craft two items of the Stalker set. The first is the legendary moose hunting jacket, while the second is the legendary moose moccasins. But in order to take them, you also need to provide to the dropper some other components, and they are the perfect wolf pelt and the perfect cow hide. For these components, in fact, I will make another video you will find in the Hunting Tips and Tricks playlist, which link is written in the description. Now it's time to discuss where and how to find the legendary moose itself. First you need to go northeast from Valentine on the edge of the map, that is also north from Anisburg and Van Horn. The exact location is upside the Broadwine Drop. Here, not far from the road, watching with the dead eye enabled at the forest, you will see the first clue. The clue will be shown like some golden particles, only if you watching at it with the dead eye enabled, and for the first is inside the tree. Now, if you go to this point, you will be able to interact with the clue that in this case is a tree damaged by the moose. Once inspected, will be shown the track to find the next one. Here, if you have some troubles to understand where is going the track, use that eye and look around until you find it. I noticed that the first clue can confuse you, because the track is interrupting in the nowhere. This because is interrupted by the train track that you need to cross to see the next clue location. From here, will be easy to find the next few of them. After a while, they will lead you back to cross again the train track and leading you towards the huge waterfalls. In fact, once crosses the train track, you will see this beautiful and huge white moose in front of you. At this point, using binocular, you can also study the legendary animal as well to learn some info about it and how to efficiently one-shot him. In fact, reading this info, you will learn that you can use a bow with improved arrows in order to clean kill the moose. But considering I didn't bring this special arrow with me, I will use the normal one. In case you as well didn't have the improved arrows with you, just shot in the head with any weapon or normal arrows and immediately after use the eye to shoot another time before the arrow or bullets reach the moose. This way you will take the head at least two times before he will start to run away. 
In case he go away too far, don't worry, he will come back and charge you. That will allow you to shot directly in the head. Otherwise, you can use that eye to track where he goes. By the way, it will take from 4 to 5 normal arrows to kill. Now that he is dead, call the horse and go to skin the animal. This way, time you finish skinning the horse will be near you. Once done, stow the pelt on the horse back and go to any trooper and sell the Moose pelt. Here, if you already delivered the other components to the chopper, you can buy the two special set outfit elements as well. Otherwise, go to the fence and take the special trinket directly.